Hello! In this video, I'll show you how to use SEO or search engine optimization on CloudFunnels. Let's begin. When you logged into your CloudFunnels installation, you'll be greeted by your dashboard. But on the side section, click on Funnel Content and Funnels Insights. From here, you will see all the funnels that you have created, so choose one. Click on Edit Funnel. After that, choose your page, which is the registration page. Then click on the Settings button. And right here, you're currently seeing the page settings. And right beside it is the Edit SEO data. Click on it. So this is the basic setup of the SEO setting here inside Cloud Funnels. So here you can add your page title your title icon, your page description, your keywords, your robot's value, your copyright, and lastly, your DC title. And when you have set all of this, you just have to click on the Save Settings. So this is the basic setup of the SEO settings here inside Cloud Funnels. So if I go to my registration page, right-click on your mouse and click Visit Page. And right here, you will see my registration page. And up here, you will see the page title and the page logo. And now, let me show you the advanced SEO settings inside Cloud Funnels. And for the advanced SEO settings, you'll need to install CFSEO plugin from the Cloud Funnel Marketplace. And to go there, on the side section, click on Plugins. Click on Add New Plugin and choose Install from Marketplace. And search in SEO. And you will see SFSEO by Technic Force. Click on it and Install. And you will see it will be added on your plugins. All you have to do is click on Enable to activate it. And it will be added on your sidebar menu. Click on it. Click on All Setup, and this is your advanced SEO setting inside Cloud Funnels. And first of all, you need to create a funnel in that route. And to do that, go back to Funnel Content, click on Funnels Insights. Click on Create New button. Add in your funnel name, and automatically it will be added to the funnel URL down here. But for this one, delete the funnel name added to the funnel URL, but do not change the base URL. What this will do, without the funnel name, this funnel URL will act like as a root funnel. Root funnel means whenever you open the Cloud Funnel site, like this one, this is my Cloud Funnel site. So by doing this, instead of going to the dashboard, you will be redirected to your root funnel page. So this is my root funnel where I have deleted the funnel name added to it. Then choose your funnel type, then click on Create. Choose your page and template. And after that, whenever you open your site, Instead of going to the dashboard, you will be redirected to your page, like so. And after that, on the sidebar section, click on CFSEO, click on All Setup. Then click on Create New. Enter your page name, and you can enter whatever name you want. Select your separator. Choose a symbol to use as your title separator. This will display, for instance, between your post title and site name. Symbols shown will appear in the exact size in search results. So let me choose this one. After that, select your page. And whenever you install SFSEO plugin, first you need to choose your root page, which you have created here. This is my root funnel page, so let me select it here. Now you will enter in your page title. A meta title tags are a major factor in helping search engines understand what your page is about. And they are the first impression many people have of your page. Then, add your title icon URL. You can click here to get the URL. Then choose your URL. After that, click on Import. 
Now, enter in the page description. This meta description tag in HTML is the 160 character snippet used to summarize web page content. Search engines sometimes use this snippet in search results to let visitors know what a page is about before they click on it. And lastly, enter in your keywords and use a comma between two keywords. Keywords are ideas and topics that define what your content is about. In terms of SEO, they are the words and phrases that searchers enter into their search engines, also called search queries. If you boil everything on your page, it's all of the images, videos, copy, and others. And after that, save your changes. And let me further explain what the page titles and title icons URL mean. So whenever you search anything on Google, like for example, SEO training. So here, for example, this is the page title, which you have added, like this one. And this is your page description which is the one like you've added on the description. And up here on the search bar is your keywords, like the one you enter in on the keyword section. And for the icon URL, is like this one you're seeing up here. And for the separator, it's like this one. As you can see, there's the title and a separator in between. And after we have saved our changes, let's move on to optional meta. If you want to add optional meta, you can just enter in your author value. You can enter in the canonical URL. A canonical tag, also known as rel canonical, is a way of telling search engines that a specific URL represents the master copy of a page. Using the canonical tag prevents problems caused by identical or duplicate content appearing on the multiple URLs. And for my canonical URL is this page URL. Just copy it and paste it here. You can also add robots value. You can use a comma between two values. A robots meta tag in a HTML snippet that tells search engines how to crawl or index a certain page. It's placed into a head section of a web page and looks like this. And you can also add in a custom meta tag. Like, for example, this one. And after that, save your changes. And now let's move on to schema.org file. You can add in a schema.org file. It provides a collection of shared vocabularies webmasters can use to mark up their pages in, in ways that they can be understood by the major search engines like Google, Microsoft, Yandex, and Yahoo. You can use the schema.org vocabulary along with the microdata, RDFA, or JSON-LD formats to add information to your web content. So if you have one, you can paste it here. Or you can click here to generate one. So click on it and you will be directed to schema markup generator. Let me click on article. Then select the article type. Paste in your page URL. Add in your headline, and for the image URL, you can add one or leave it as it is. Since I already have one here, let me just copy it and paste it here. And then you can add short description of the article. Add in the author type and the name of the author. You can add in the author URL if you have one. And also paste in your publisher URL. Put in the published date and the date modified. And after that, on the side, your schema.org file. So just click on the copy button. Then paste it here. Save your changes. Now going to the robots file, robots.txt is a text file webmasters create 
to instruct web robots, typically search engine robots, how to crawl pages on their website. The robots.txt file is a part of the Robots Exclusion Protocol, or REP, a group of web standards that regulate how robots crawl the web access and index content and serve that content up to the users. So if you have one, you can place it here. And don't forget to save your changes. Now if you go to All Setup and click on the page URL, and if you right-click and view the page source, you will see all that it's added here. You can see all the things we have added is right here. You can see here the title, description, robots, icons, and the txt file. And if we go to our webmaster tools, you can see here that I've already verified my site. So for verifying your site, what you'll need to do, just click on this link and click on the HTML tag and copy this and paste it here. And same goes for the Bing verification. Click here. Click up here and add a site. Copy your URL and paste it here. Then click on Add. And your site addition is successful. And to see how it's added, again go to your page and view your source. And you can see here, I've already verified my site. And here, whenever you add your site URL, you will see on your source the HTML meta tag. Just copy this meta tag from here. But as of now, you cannot see it because I've already verified mine. But if you do not have the verification yet, you will see it here. All you need to do is copy it and paste it here. Then save your changes. Then click on the verify button and you will see a confirmation that you have verified your site. And if you want to add your Yandex verification tag, you can do the same process like we did to the other two. And now if we go back to our page, you will see the page description, the page title, and page logo. And if you also want to add the social setup, just click it here. If you want to add in a Facebook page URL, just enter in the URL here. Same goes for the Twitter, Instagram, or LinkedIn, or any other social media URL. Just don't forget to save all your changes. And for enable social account, if you also want to see the content on your social media, you'll just need to enable it. Then add in the details for each account. So let me set up Facebook to show you. What you'll need to do is just go to developers.facebook.com, then log in and go to My Apps. Then create an app, say for example Business, then continue to add the further details like the app display name, your contact email, and app purpose. Then create the app. After that, you will need to enter in the password for your security. Then submit and copy your app ID and paste it here. Then select the article type, the language, and add in the image URL. If you want to add in an image, just upload the file. And also, if you want to show in the content of your Twitter, just set it up here. Add in the default card type to use and an estimated reading time. If you also want to add in your Pinterest setting, just do the same here. And for the Pinterest, you will need to add in your Pinterest confirmation tag. And to get that, just click here and click on Claim on the website. After claiming, copy your HTML tag, then paste it here. Save your changes. After saving your changes, going back to Pinterest, click on Continue to verify it. Then add in your website URL so you can verify it. And that is how you can add in your social media setups. And if you go to your page source, you can also add in here all your SEO meta. And that is the advanced SEO settings on Cloud Funnels. 
And also, if you want to add SEO for another page, what you'll need to do, just create a new one, then repeat the same process. Then for the page name, select in second page. Choose a page separator, select a page, and after that, again, add in the page title, title icon URL, enter the page description, and enter keywords. Then save your changes. And now if you go to your second page, you'll still see your icon, the page title, and if you view in the page source, you will again see everything. And if I want to share this to others, I'll just copy the URL and paste it here to send it to them. You will see the page image, title, description, icon, and URL. Like so. And that is it for today's video on how to use SEO in Cloud Funnels. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.